In this video, I will show you absolutely free Mac apps that will make macOS more like Windows. It's not a surprise that while Windows has its flaws, but it also boasts a variety of extremely handy hidden features that are built for power users and directly into the operating system, which is something that macOS simply lacks. So these free apps bring those features to macOS and make your MacBook so much easier to use, especially if you're coming to Mac from the world of Windows. The first app is called Alt Tab and it makes the ever so popular Alt plus Tab keyboard shortcut, which every Windows user knows and loves, also available on Mac. It brings the power of Windows's Alt plus Tab window switcher to Mac OS by replacing the original Command plus Tab switcher on Mac. The new one from Windows shows longer app names and even image previews views just like on Windows. In the app settings you can change which apps appear in the switcher, whether you want to show minimized or hidden windows and also customize your keyboard shortcuts for closing, quitting, hiding and minimizing apps within the Alt tab interface. In the appearance tab there's also an option that hides the app's previews if you prefer the interface to look that way. Now the next app is middle click which is so incredible if you know what clicking the mouse wheel does on Windows. For those of you who don't, if you click with the middle mouse button, it closes out tabs in your browser without having to click the tiny X icon. It also opens links in a new tab without having to hold control on your keyboard while clicking and it even opens new windows of applications that are currently running, which is especially useful for example in File Explorer which still does doesn't have tabs built into it. So the middle click app adds the middle click to your Mac. Of course, most people use Macs with a trackpad, so the triple click will activate if you tap on the MacBook's trackpad with three fingers. The third app is Mackie, which is a simple yet functional clipboard manager and it only does one simple thing. It keeps your copy history at hand whenever you need it without overloading you with any other unnecessary necessary features. Of course, on Windows you don't have to download a third-party app to access your clipboard history. All that you do is press Windows plus V on your keyboard and your history will open up if you have it enabled in the settings. But Mac doesn't have this, so a tiny free utility like Mackie can save the day. It comes in extremely handy when you have to copy more than one thing from one app to another. So instead of copying and pasting twice, you can just copy both things at the same time and then paste them in from your clipboard history. This app is also extremely customizable in the preferences. I like to enable fuzzy search, which lets me find things without completely remembering what they are, and also in the storage tab, I set the number of history items to 100 because I can simply pin the important things that I copy often in the pins tab. Oh, and if you try to download this app from the App Store it will cost you $10, but if you visit the official website for the Mackie app you'll be able to download it completely free. And for those of you who stuck around till the end, there's also one more bonus app that makes Mac more like Windows and that's Rectangle, which adds the window snapping functionality for Mac so you can manage your windows much easier. If you want to learn more about it, here's a full dedicated video video I made about this Mac utility. And if you're not interested, here's a randomly generated one for you by YouTube.